so this is another important uh, property of beta function um, obtain relationship between the beta and gamma function prove that beta of m comma n equal to mn equal to gamma of uh, m gamma of n uh, divided gamma of m plus n so use our basic uh, a definition of beta function then substitute x is equal to x square then simplify this equation you may get the relationship between the beta and gamma function so this is also one of the important property of a beta function so after substituting all these things then you can get beta and gamma function okay So here I'm going to use our uh, previous uh, relationship, I mean uh, property of a beta function, integral 0 to pi by 2 uh, cos theta 2 power m minus 1 sin theta 2 power n minus 1 at d theta equal to 1 divided by 2 beta of uh, m comma n. This, this is one of the important property of a beta gamma relation. So after using this relation, then you can get this value. So we need to know one more application of beta function. For, for example, uh, beta of 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 equal to gamma of 1 divided by 2 gamma of 1 divided by 2. so whole divided by gamma of 1 divided by 2 plus gamma of 1 divided so gamma of uh, 1 divided by 2 equal to root pi next class we are going to prove this one gamma of uh, 1 equal to root pi this one is 1 so therefore the value of beta of uh, 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 pi If you look at into one more example, this one. Suppose the given beta function is like this m plus one comma n equal to gamma of one divided by sorry just right. Mm -hmm. m divided by m plus n beta of m comma n so we need to prove this is also one of the property of a beta function suppose i am going to use this one is sixth property so we need to show this property so we know beta gamma relation beta of m comma n equal to gamma of m gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n so the the given formula they are giving m plus 1 n right this is the relation so we need to write place of m m plus 1 gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus sorry plus one also okay gamma of n plus one equal to n gamma n this is one of the formula or else we can write gamma of m plus one equal to m gamma m or you can use this formula gamma of m plus one Gamma of n plus 1 equal to mn gamma of m plus n. 
so i'm going to use a gamma of n plus 1 then write gamma of m gamma n this one is gamma of n divided by this one is gamma of m plus n gamma of m plus n then we can rearrange this equation m divided by m plus n uh, gamma of m gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n so according to beta gamma relation this one is uh, beta definition so therefore we can write beta of m plus 1 into n equal to m over m plus n this one is beta of m comma n so this is our relation so these are the few properties of uh, beta function uh, which we are using frequently in physics so because of uh, this is highly useful for physics students so we need to use all these beta and gamma functions to solve few problems example quantum mechanics is there especially in perturbation theory they are giving different type of potentials and uh, by using these potentials we need to find eigenvalues and eigenfunctions there we are using many difficult uh, integrations and differentiations to solve such problems so we need to know beta and gamma functions to calculate easy of that uh, difficult potentials so here i'm going to give one uh, example of you need to try this one this problem apply a beta function try to solve this one if you can't get answer please let me comment below then i'll give you answer this so exponential minus x power 4 dx you need to find uh, what is value of this function using beta function okay so if you want to answer this one answer is this one i'm going to give the answer 1 divided by 4 gamma of 1 divided by 4 this is the answer of this integration so please try to solve this one in case if you are unable to solve this one please try to comment below then i'm going to give the solution of this problem uh, next topic is gamma function and uh, properties of gamma function very very important so we already know what is uh, beta function now i'm going to try to explain the, what is gamma function gamma function the definite integral integral 0 to infinity e power x x power n minus 1 dx is called gamma function and it is denoted by this symbol gamma of n you can read this one gamma of n so gamma of n equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus x 
x power n minus 1 dx. This is the gamma function. It is also called Eulerian integral of second kind. is also called Eulerian integral of second kind So these are the some properties are there. First property, I'm going to explain one by one property. The first property is show that gamma of one equal to one. So we know definition of gamma function gamma of n equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 dx then try to use in place of n equal to 1 0 to infinity e power minus x x power 1 minus 1 to dx this is x power 0, x power 0 equal to 1, then integral 0 to infinity e power x dx. Then integrate this one e power x integration is e power x because minus is there minus x 0 to infinity. So here minus is there, I'm going to write minus outside the bracket. Then I'm going to use upper limit and lower limit carefully. E power minus infinity the minus e power zero. Okay. E power zero. E power minus infinity is zero. Then here minus is there. This one is minus one, totally plus one. So therefore, cut gamma of uh, 1 equal to not in gamma of 1 equal to 1 this is the important property of gamma function next property is next property show that gamma of uh, n equal to n minus 1 gamma of n minus 1 where n greater than 1 okay so basic definition of gamma function we already know okay. gamma of uh, <coughs> n equal to e power minus integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 into dx okay so we need to integrate this function this function for that i am going to use this integration uv integration we consider u equal to x power n minus 1 integral dv equal to integral i mean dv equal to e power x dx then differentiate this thing du equal to n minus 1 into x power n minus 2 integration differentiation going to get cancelled then v equal to 
minus e power minus x. So please try to use this formula carefully. Okay. So in uh, u integral dv, right? Uv. What is u? U is x power n minus 1. What is v? v is minus e power x. This is uv. First part is over. Okay. Limits 0 to infinity. Minus integral <coughs> dv. Okay. Minus v into du, right? e power minus x and what is du? du is n minus 1 n minus 1 x power n minus 2 d so if you want this formula u v minus integral v du Okay. So entirely this term is going to zero anyway. Then here already minus is here. This entire term is going to zero minus to minus plus. Then carefully zero to infinity e power minus x n minus one x power n minus 2 dx then n minus 1 integral 0 to infinity x power minus x x power n minus 2 dx so this value we know already the integral integral I mean gamma of n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power x x power n minus 1 dx right x power n minus 1 dx I am going to write this thing n minus 1 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 minus 1 dx so if you observe here here n is there gamma of n is there. so in place of n here n minus 1 is there according to our basic formula so therefore i am going to write this equation like this n minus 1 gamma of n minus this is very very important formula okay So therefore, one important formula gamma of n equal to n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1. Okay. And uh, this equation also we can write like this gamma of n plus 1 equal to n gamma n so these are the very very important and useful formulas to solve the differential equations quantum statistical mechanics classical mechanics also
So here I'm going to give one note here. If n is a positive function then we can write gamma of n equal to n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on n minus r gamma of n minus r where n minus r greater than 0 for example we're going to check one example here So find out what is the value of gamma of 9 divided by 2. So according to our known formula, what is the value of this? So we know gamma of uh, n equal to n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1. This is our known formula right now. By using this formula, I'm going to find what is the gamma of 9 divided by 2. So gamma of 9 divided by 2 equal to, so we need to write 9 divided by 2 minus 1. Gamma of 9 divided by 2 minus 1. This one is 7 divided by 2. And again, this one is 7 divided by 2. Again, we need to extract this one. This one. 7 divided by 2 minus 1. Gamma of 7 divided by 2 minus 1. Now, I got 7 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2 gamma of 5 divided by 2 7 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 minus 1 this one again 5 divided by 2 minus 1 okay Again, 7 divided by 2, 5 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, gamma of 3 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2, 5 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2 minus 1, 3 divided by 2 minus 1. 7 divided by 2, 5 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2, gamma of 1 divided by 2. Okay. So this is our answer actually. In case you want to find what is gamma of 1 divided by 2, Gamma of 1 divided by 2 answer is 5 divided by 2. Okay, this is the final answer. Don't multiply these things, okay? Especially in gamma function property. This is the answer. Gamma of 9 divided by 2. According to your problem, you need to arrange. Okay? First thing, this is our answer. According to examiner given problem, we need to arrange this thing gamma of uh, 1 divided by 2 answer is root pi so you need to check this one example 2 example 2 
gamma for 13 divided by 3 what is the answer okay next problem so here we are going to to find very very important uh, relation which we are using frequently in our mathematical problem solutions so one of the important property this one show that gamma of 1 divided by 2 equal to root pi we need to solve this one okay so we know beta gamma relation beta of m comma n equal to gamma of n gamma of m all divided by m gamma of m plus n suppose use m and n value equal to 1 divided by 2 because they are giving gamma of uh, gamma value 1 divided by 2 which is why i am using okay beta of 1 divided by 2 comma 1 divided by 2 equal to gamma of 1 divided by 2 gamma of 1 divided by 2 divided by gamma of 1 divided by 2 plus gamma of 1 divided by 2 so that equal to the numerator value is gamma of 1 divided by 2 whole square divided by 1 So this one is gamma of 1 divided by 2 comma gamma of 1 divided by 2 equal to gamma of 1 divided by 2 whole square okay this is our first step maybe you need to use this one equation number one okay then i'm going to use second step is like this bit of m comma n equal to integral i mean basic uh, beta definition x power m minus 1 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx here beta of 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2 in place of m i'm using 1 divided by 2 in place of n i'm using 1 divided by 2 then simplify this function 1 divided by 2 minus 1 x power n 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 into dx so this is our result right integral 0 to 1 x power minus 1 divided by 2 1 minus x whole power minus 1 divided by 2 dx so this is what i got right now so suppose put x equal to here sine square theta then differentiate this one dx equal to 2 sine theta cos theta d theta so limits are going to change like this lower limit x equal to 0 i mean 
sin square theta equal to 0 and theta equal to 0. Upper limit x equal to 1, sin square theta equal to 1, this one, okay. Then theta equal to pi divided by 2. So I'm going to substitute all this information here. Then maybe 0 upper limit pi divided by 2 in place of x sin square theta sin square theta whole power minus 1 divided by 2 1 minus sin square theta whole power 1 divided by 2 2 sin theta cos theta d theta Okay. 2 into because here 2 is there pi divided by 2 this one is sine inverse theta cos inverse theta sine theta cos theta d theta so all are going to cancel right then 2 integral 0 to pi divided by 2 d theta then 2 into integral theta theta 0 to pi divided by 2 okay two into upper limit is pi divided by two lower limit is zero then the resultant two into pi divided by two so I got answer pi so I use this one beta of one divided by two comma one divided by two equal to I got this one This is our second equation. This is our second equation number. Second equation from equation one and uh, equation two. So from equation one, we got actually. Uh, beta of uh, 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2 equal to gamma of 1 divided by 2 whole square. Equation 2, we got only pi. So, therefore, compare the equation number 1 and 2, then we need to write gamma of 1 divided by 2 whole square equal to pi gamma of 1 divided by 2 equal to root pi so this is very very important and uh, useful property of uh, gamma of function I hope you understand beta and gamma function properties. Maybe in next class I'm going to uh, find, I mean, solve one or two problems. Later we need to move uh, differential equations, legendary differential equations and recursion relations, polynomial equations.